Hi, Dorji McKinnon here with another Vajra video series that's helping internet and digital workplace professionals get stuff done. Um, this is part of 10 minutes or less. What can we do to help you guys improve your intranets for your users? Um, so what I thought about today, as you can see, is uh, we'd have a chat about analytics and then have a look at two specific examples of analytics that you're fairly likely to be able to get out of whatever system you're using, whether you're using SharePoint Online or one of the other big CMS systems. Um, so I have a bit of a reputation for having done some um, analytics work and my blog part of my website has information about that. I wrote a report last year in 2016 about it. Um, and I've been talking about this sort of stuff for a while. Why do I think analytics are important? Well, most people don't do any. Um, I, during the interviews for this report, lots of people really just either used what was available out of the box or didn't do anything at all. And so I think it's a place where many, many organisations have got some quick wins. So what sort of thing am I talking about? Well, let's take a quick look. This is the end point um, for, one of the, for one way of presenting the data, and this is our second end point for ways of presenting the data, and this is our raw data. Now, um, one thing you might notice here is that I've anonymized it a little bit, but basically this is a log file of visits to the internet by a particular person. Um, in fact, by anybody. So there's a whole bunch of names in this list. And this is a fairly standard thing you can export out of um, SharePoint on-premise or for SharePoint Online it's a bit trickier. Um, you just need to add some JavaScript to a page and um, you can stuff this sort of information into a list and then you're able to make use of it. Now, a lot of people, um, if you've been doing intranets or web digital stuff for a while, you'll have seen log files like this for 100 years. The real value comes in making it useful to your customers. So who are your customers? Well, they're the people who politically support you in the internet space or um, are paying the bills for the, um, for the internet project um, or they're the ones who are sponsoring the project even. Um, but for me, ultimately, the, the, your customers, our customers, are the users of the internet. So how can we make their lives better, get, help them get the most out of things? Okay, so let's have a look. Like this tend to have um, a bunch of information, the page that was visited, um, you can see here the date that it was visited, who it was um, visited by, um, whether it was a document or a page, um, and then over here on the right hand side, um, I've just calculated out the hour that the visit happened, and then the department. Now, this is where you're starting to add value. And in this case, um, if we go to this information, we've taken uh, a list of names and the department that they're in. Now, if you're not particularly technical, no problem. I understand spreadsheets can be a bit intimidating. Um, get someone in the tech team to help you out. Um, make them a cake. There's a recipe for banana cake on my website for muffins or banana cake. Um, just go and make friends with them, get them to owe you a favour, and then ask them to help you with something like this. Effectively, all we've done is we've exported a list of everyone in the organisation and the department they're in, and that's in this sheet, and we've got our raw data from visits to intranet pages in this sheet. And this yellow column over here is marrying the two together, so that we've got one page that says, hey, this page was visited by this person at this time, and they're from the sales department. Now, why would we want to do that? Well, that's where we come to this reporting by department. Now, cheers, it's a bit late in the day, so I need a bit of that. Um, what we need to do when we're doing any reporting is know when we're reporting. So across the top here, we've got the date that it's from and the date that it's to, so it's 16 days in this case. And we've done a... Um, pivot table here, just looking at the staff in the person and department. So this is all the staff in the, this B column, 
and all of the departments that they're in in the C column. And we've just, whoops, wrong one. And we've said, you know, how many comms people, how many people in the factory, how many people marketing, blah, blah, blah. And that's our initial data. Then we've said, looking at the data from the intranet, how many actual people have used the intranet during this period? So in this case, there were six comms people when there are actually 12 comms people total. Um, in the factory, 275 people used the intranet and so on and so forth. So these are actual real people who've used the intranet in the 16 day period. Well, that's kind of useful because we're starting to get a measure of the number of people using the intranet uh, as a whole. And we'll dig into that in the next report in just a second. So what I've then done is I've said, well, some of these departments, not many people are using the intranet. So how, if I was to do some work around going and engaging with them and um, showing them the value of the intranet, I, I want to maximize my value for time. And so what I've said was, if over here there are 12 staff per manager, and this is just a guess, um, and you could guess this for your organization more than likely, then that means that in this case, where only 50% of the comms people have used the internet in our 16-day period, there's half a manager, that's the equivalent of half a manager's worth of people. So 50% in this case is six people, and that equates to about half a manager. So more than likely, in the comms case, I've only got one person who I, as the internet manager, have to go and engage with to really increase the percentage of comms staff using the internet. And one person to one person, you know, fairly easy win there. When we get to the factory, 64% of the factory are using the internet, which is awesome. Um, but to get above that level, I'm going to have to engage with more than likely about 12 different managers. So in this case, I've, I've made this red because really that's probably a bit much. So my strategy in this situation um, would be to engage with someone who's responsible at a senior level for the factory and get them to push down on top and perhaps give me a steer on which of these 12 um, managers is the most likely to be supportive and then bring those two things together. So with the senior manager saying, hey, the internet's a good thing and me working on one or two of the managers, then we begin to build um, this percentage of users of the internet up. Now, just using the internet isn't necessarily a good thing for the organization, but for the case of showing you this example, um, let's assume that it is. Okay. Um, and again, if we move down, say, to sales, there's probably only one or two managers that I need to engage with to get them really high as a percentage of users. You need to know your business and the way in which it works, because it may be that everybody in sales uses the internet, but during the 16-day period, they were all away um, at a conference, for example. So have a look at this stuff over time and see if it makes sense. What I'm trying to do is show you ways of augmenting your data to make it more valuable to you so you spend your time doing more valuable work. Okay, so in this case, we've identified that probably the quick wins are comms, marketing, and senior management. So there's three managers we could go and talk to to get something useful going and hopefully increase their usage of the internet. Now, if I was looking at this really um, uh, from, a, from a time cost benefit point of view, senior management's going to be the best one. If I can get them all using the internet and then I can go to everybody else and say, hey, senior management, 95% of senior management use the internet every day, that's going to be much more compelling um, than saying 45% of senior management use the internet every day. Um, so think about it as with anything to do with analytics. Think first, act next. Okay, so we've looked at the overall intranet. But I hear some of you say, not all of the intranet's actually useful. And a lot of people who visit the intranet just end up on the home page because it's defaulted by our IT department. And then they bounce off to Google or to payroll or to whatever other system. Okay, yep, not a problem. Um, why don't we can add some value in that context? So that's where this other report that we flicked over a minute ago comes in. 
And the idea here was to look at the number of people who visited the intranet as a whole per hour, which is this orange graph on the left-hand side here, and then the number of people who went beyond the home page per hour. So this is all visits to the intranet, every single page. Uh, we didn't look at documents in this particular instance, but and then all visits to pages beyond the home page. So we exclude the home page from this result set. And that gives us a couple of um, the, these graphs are made from these lists of um, data that have come from the raw data uh, tab back over here. We remember our raw data, and you know, they went to this page on this date and it was this person. Um, and then I've used a couple of little um, columns of my own, you know, the hour that it was, the unique users of all pages, the unique users excluding the home page, and the percentage, therefore, who go beyond the home page. Now, I've had to manually do this because, as you can see, this table um, and this table have different uh, rows in them. So I've had to mix and match a little bit um, to get these things to marry up. But all in all, uh, getting the data, constructing this, and then producing this graph down here was probably about an hour's work. So if you think about this in um, context of our 10 minutes a day or 10 minutes a week, it's probably a week's work, um, if that, to get this ready. And then each week I can run it by just dumping some new data in here, I get the report out, and really that does take 10 minutes a day. Um, and I'd do that, in this case we're looking at 16-day um, period, that's probably good enough. It sort of depends on who you're trying to influence with this data. In this case, we were looking at the comms team, trying to give them a sense of the people who were going beyond the intranet homepage, and also to the steering group for the intranet to show them that over time things were changing. So um, in this case, we see that lots of people are arriving on the homepage and then bouncing off. Um, and a reasonable number are coming through and using the internet content pages themselves. Now, I don't have a time series for this that I can show you, but um, let's say that this is better than it was at the beginning. Um, so in the first couple of weeks after go live, uh, we had a lot of people visiting the homepage, not very many going deeper, and over time these gray bars have grown and improved. So, what's the value in doing this? Well, what it means is that we can go to the business and say, hey, we are adding value over time. And what it also highlighted was that the home page was the bouncing off point to other things. So subsequent to this report being created, what we did was we then took every link on the home page and we added a tracking code to each link. So the link that went to HR, the link that went to... Um, the payroll system, the link that went to the leave system, the link that went to the health and safety system, all of those separate web addresses that every organisation has. And we are now, with this client, starting to measure the number of staff who go to the homepage and then do something that we don't know about, go to Google, for example, or the number of staff who go to the homepage and then do something work-related. They go to the HRIS system or they go to the health and safety system. And that data then changes this picture that we've got just down here, you know, this, this view here, and says, well, uh, what we've done is added another column saying, this is the, the orange ones are the number of people who've used the internet at all, the grey ones are the people who've used the content pages within it, and then we've added another column saying, these are the folks who've gone off to another work-related website. So rather than um, trying to get data directly out of the HRIS system or out of the health and safety system, we've used what we can control, the home page, and tracked things from there so we get a better sense of what our users are doing. Hopefully this has been useful to you. As I say, setting this up probably takes a few weeks at 10 minutes a day, but then running it is a 10 minute process. So I hope that by showing you another way of thinking about analytics, you're able to make a change. Please leave a comment below. Really keen to hear from you. Thanks, everyone. This has been another Vajra video by me, Dorji McKinnon. If you need some help across the interwebs via 
desktop sharing or in person, contact me at www.vajra.co.nz. Good luck and happy intraneting.